I absolutely see Hulu as a challenger brand, which, by the way, is an incredibly fun place to be as a marketer. I think it's important that you always retain the mindset of a challenger brand. You know, Levi's is over 145 years old, and we've certainly had our ups and downs. And I think when we got back in the challenger mindset is when we fought our way back to a leadership position and put the brand at the center of culture again. A lot of challenger brands often spend a lot of time thinking about um, who or what they're fighting against and maybe not necessarily who or what they're fighting for. We know that the marketplace is crowded, it's increasingly complex, there's new entrants all the time. So we have to not only focus on really smart growth, but also on building connections with our consumers and creating breakthrough moments that get people talking. For a brand like Levi's, it's really important to understand sort of the culture that you operate in, arguably for every brand. If you think about how we started as a, as a company that primarily sold mattresses, we thought about that experience for a consumer was really awful. I um, consume culture in all the ways that interest me. Um, I read fiction, I see movies, I consume news voraciously, and I just find inspiration comes in unusual places. And if you read a lot and consume a lot, there's gonna be ideas in the culture that inform the way you think about your job and how to put your brand at the center of the story. Our first sort of, uh, I would say, chapter of Casper was about how to make that more approachable, more accessible, more inviting. And in, in many ways, I guess I'd argue that that disruption um, is over now. Um, and not just because of our growth, but because of how many brands in the category our success has spawned. I think it's more fun as a challenger brand because you can take risks. There's almost an imperative to do so. And I also think there's more of an opportunity to create a deeper, more lasting connection with consumers.